Sometimes when we're working with wood, we're offered a plane, it could be a jack plane like this, quite a big plane, extra wide. A shorter plane, still quite heavyweight, and then we've got the number four. This is a four and a half, this is a five and a half. This is the number four, this is the one I use predominantly. These just give you a little bit of extra width and this one gives you extra length. And then there's this little one here, this is a number three plane. So when we take in a stroke with the plane, I find this plane quite easy to use. I find this one quite easy to use. And I especially find this one easy to use. I teach thousands of students. I have taught thousands of students. And this is a smaller version. And this is the number three. And really what it is, it's different strokes for different folks. If you're small stature, this plane will be hard for you to use. This one could be hard because that extra quarter of an inch in width means you're taking extra wood off. This one is perfect for somebody like myself, not a massive man, but still a, full, uh, a fully grown man using the plane. I have no problem with it. This is great for any woodworker. And this one is very good for maybe, I wouldn't say children, but somebody who's just not used to working with their hands, working manually. This is a great plane. So there we have four planes that I rely on all the time. I don't need a bevel up plane because this will do everything that a bevel up plane will do. So I stay with the bevel down planes. Number three is great, wonderful for grandchildren, children, and small stature adults. This one is great for just about everybody. This is when you've got a little bit more muscle, a bit, a bit more weight behind you, and this one the same. So this one just gives you a little extra length. But that's how we use different strokes for different folks and that's very important not all planes are suited to everybody you have to pick your weaponry when you when you start working with wood mm -hmm.